it's Miss Tanya, and listen, I had to come on here and talk about this. For those providers and child care centers that are posting pictures of the children in your care, be mindful of the laws in your state, of the things that you can use and have in your facilities. I am seeing a lot of things that are not allowed in the state of California, and people are posting them. Okay? You have to be mindful of what something looks like and what we're allowed to have. So, state of California, number one, you cannot have a walker. Number two, you cannot have an exerciser. You can't have them little Fisher Price chairs. Anything that rock, roll, bounce, you can't have. Okay? The little chair with the tray, they are only to be in those chairs if they are eating. You cannot just have them in their chair, in that chair just because they won't sit still, they won't do, you know, uh, behave during lesson time or anything because that is a violation of their rights. I'm just telling y'all this. This is Auntie Tanya talking to y'all now, okay? I want everyone to be safe, to be, pro to be productive, and to also follow the guidelines. You can't post everything on social media, you know? And also, make sure that you get a release from the parents. Make sure you get a release from them. Matter of fact, I'm gonna walk on over to my release because I went online, I found some documents, and I created my own um, video uh, release form. Let me find it here for y'all because I don't wanna be liable for nothing. And so what I did was, it's called the, um, I'm gonna turn, I don't even know how to turn the thing, I'm camera around, let me see. Okay, so it's the um, photography and video release form. Okay, if you send me a, a, your fax number, I'll fax it over to you, that way you'll have it. I just went online and created my own um, to fit what I needed. I looked at a couple and then I have my parents sign it. So it's a release form that allows me to take pictures of their children and videos of their children. So please, please, please make sure that you get a video release form. Be specific. My video release form states that I can still post pictures after the children are no longer in care. I want you all to cover yourselves. You don't want a lawsuit coming. You don't want a parent that got upset and pulled their child out of daycare. Then they want to sue you because you're using their child's picture and they didn't give you permission. I'm just saying. Okay? Please be mindful of the things that we are posting. Everything does not need to go on social media. And... For instance, if you are one of those providers who likes to put everything on there, you don't always have to add the children in there. You can get up and say, hey, this is my setup for the day. This is today's setup. I use an app called Ripple, R-I-P-L. Go on Ripple. The little videos that I do, sign up with Ripple. Do your little videos or whatnot. You don't always have to have the children in there. We must protect our children. Every They may not want to be on social media. You know, when they get older, they may be like, dang, I'll, here's my whole world, my whole life, right here. You know, I know sometimes I have my grandson, but I try to have his face, you know, the other way or whatnot. Um, I don't try to post him all the time because I think about that. I'm his grandmother. He may not want his face out there. You know, when he's 30, he be like, dang, this was me. I was just a newborn. You had me on social media. You know, we have to take those things into consideration. And also, be mindful of the noise level when you are recording, what not. Be mindful of if your house is clean, if it's dirty, you know. There are certain things you just need to be mindful of. Be mindful of the language and the tone that is used. Because it may sound okay, you know, where you're at, but it may sound loud or harsh or offensive, you know, via the internet. So please, this was just something that was on my heart, some things that I saw and I was just like, ooh. But you know what, it was in my spirit, and I'm 52 years old, so I came on here to let my people know, this is Auntie Tanya talking to my providers right here, okay? Love y'all.